Hello, this is Derek Tebbers, and this is your Euro Truck Simulator 2 Mod Spotlight. Last time we ran the Kenworth T2000. It was a great truck, but I did find one thing. So after every episode, I run at least one more load just to test things. Like I intentionally run in the trucks or things like that, just to test things. And what I found is this is not actually a full nose truck. It is actually bull nosed right about here. I can actually go into about my wheel on any vehicle before it registers me as impacting something. That's kind of weird. <clears throat> I also found that if I'm running a box trailer on this thing, it merges into the back of the cab. And that's kind of meh, not great. Um, so while it's a great truck, I'm not going to keep it because I'm really looking for a really good truck because what I have today is some interesting trailers. So we are going to go daffing. Uh, buy online? If I buy it online, do I get it delivered where I am or do I need to visit? Oh, what the heck? We'll just go to the dealer. I don't care. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to grab the, um, <clears throat> one of my two faves. You guys know that I'm, I'm really into the, the two early Kenworths that we had, the K100 and the W900. <clears throat> So not that thing. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this guy. Let's customize him up really quick. We're just gonna make this really quick. Um, I actually give the that thing. I need a 600 on there. Let's put the big 18 speed. Don't care about the interior. Um, blue is actually fine. <clears throat> Need some horns on this sucker. That's good. I want a good front mirror on each side. Let's get a let's get a big old grill on the sucker. Because <laughs> why not? Um, let's run some full fenders on here. That's a pretty looking truck, don't you think? I think it's a beautiful looking truck. All right, let's confirm that. All right, so here's our rig. Let's do a trade-in. Yes. Thank you. You're like, there, that's... You're going backwards. You're, you're getting a truck that you've already run before. Well, yes, I know. <clears throat> Just wait until you see the trailers I've got to run. I've got to find one. And then we're going to probably have to balls it to that uh, trailer's location. So, um, all right, let's, uh, let's check the job market. So we can find out of Amsterdam. Oh, look at that. I got lucky. We can run an excavator. That's not an excavator. I have no idea what that is. That's an oversized load. Um, so I've got the oversized load pack. This is a new oversized load pack that's supposed to be adapted to handle the... Um, this version. So like this forklift is not really forklifts. I don't know what that is. Um, that's at, that's at Tramory. So we might swing by Tramory just to see, but I think we're going to take this thing. Um, there are others. I uh, just got to find them. There's that, whatever that is. Um, going to Dortmund. Probably could ball over there and grab that. But yeah, you know what? Why don't I just grab this? This is the day. You know, this is this is Black Friday. Let's um, let's make this maybe a little bit longer than normal. Let's take this uh, excavator thingy. That's not an excavator, and it's twenty-five tons. All right, we can get rid of that extra mirror because I don't need it on this truck. Yeah, we're back to this big thunderbolt. Without the, uh, hey, I'm coming here. You're just, you're just going to chill. Um, without the day cab on here, I can actually look out the back window if I need to. That's actually pretty cool. I thought about going with an in-game rig. But after thinking about it, I was like, you know, 
I might as well just take this W900. I'm going to have to drive really carefully anyway, so... Oh yeah, that's a big load. Oh, it's like a big, um... You see those boxes at uh, construction sites? Like a electronics box? That's exactly what that is. It's an electronics box. All right, let's take the job. Wow, that is uh, yeah, that's a that's a that's a big load. I probably need some beacons on here, but who needs beacons? Clink. All right, let's uh, let's pull this sucker out a little bit, and then we'll look at it. All right, here. Wow, this is going to be a fun trip, isn't it? Everybody's got to try themselves an oversized load every once in a while, right? Hmm. The question is, how's this going to work at the toll boat booths? How's it going to work getting it out of town? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna have to drive carefully here. But on the bright side, I mean, it's not like we're going to be lacking. Yeah, you're just going to go, pal. We're not going to be lacking in horsepower. That's for sure. Sure. Okay, a little bit of uh, a little bit of rubbing. I hate you and everything you stand for. Every single one of you people in that bus need to beat that bus driver down. <sighs> yeah. You know what? Oh, there we go. All right, there we go. <laughs> so they did not fix that the middle is phase throughable. That's gonna probably be a pain in the butt. Let's uh, turn on the lights. All right, yeah. Truck is the truck's handling this okay. There we go. Yeah, the truck the truck is handling this okay so far. Oop, there's that phase through thing there. Where's the light? I can't actually see it. Wow. Oh, okay, we got a green light. Let's go. Yeah, I would re really love a pilot car. <laughs> Maybe some police escorts to get out of town. I do have the speed limiter turned off. So, uh, ought to prove to be interesting. We'll see what this truck can do with this big engine in it. All right, so we're gonna have to figure out this turn. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about this turn. So let's, uh, I'm actually glad for the red light. Um, all right. Oh, look, at look at that trailer towing the bus. <laughs> oh, that's so derp. That's so derp. Okay. That is a mod conflict, by the way. I've got the bus and the... Oh, do I have a green light? No? Yes, I do. Okay. Go. We can make this turn. can't actually make that turn. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> wow. No damage yet. Okay, so that's good. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cheat as much as I can on this corner here. You better go. Crap, those guys are going to go through my trailer if I'm not quick. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, I made it on almost perfect turn. Stupid bus. <laughs> All right, that's a 15 hour drive according to the uh, GPS. You know what, we're gonna, we're just gonna be jerk. We're gonna take both lanes because we got a wide load here. Also, we have a massive engine under our hood, so it's not like anybody's really gonna pass us once we get ahead of steam going. Yeah, buddy. This is how you rock and roll. How I rock and roll, anyway. Customer wanted a delivery? I'll get him a delivery. <laughs> oh, goodness. We're going to have to watch for B roads. B roads are going to be a bad, bad idea. We're going to want to stay on interstate as much as possible. I know it's not interstate. Motorway as much as possible. Do I have room? I think I got plenty of room. Yeah. I think I can make this. Look at that. 95 kilometers an hour with this big load on here. I'm not in top gear either. I still got some gears to go. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love this Kenworth. It is still the speed champ when it comes to this. If ever, whenever there's an urgent delivery, this is the truck I want right here. Get out of the way with your bus. I'm coming through with a building on the back of my truck. <laughs> 17th gear, 107 kilometers an hour with a 22 ton building behind me. Some tells me that the mod author did not put weight properly on this this uh, trailer. I mean, I know I've got a big honking engine in this truck, but yeah, this is kind of pushing silliness to a new level of silly. I'm still not in top gear, mind you. I still got another gear on this 18-speed gearbox. So maybe they did compensate. They did put something in there, but I don't know what. Oh, truck's hitting that magic point of power. Nope, nope. Decided didn't want to do it. <laughs> Thing you don't want to see coming down the inner, the motorway towards you. Me driving this day cab with a 22 ton building on the bed at 115 kph. Now, those of you in the US, 115 kph, it's like 60, well, about 62 miles an hour is 100 kph. So I'm going a little bit over, uh, probably going 65. But I also have a 22 ton building behind me. So there you go. Yeah, kind of crazy, kind of crazy. I would like the mo I would like somebody to figure out how to do these oversized load trailers where it doesn't have that gap in the middle that AI cars will drive through because that's really annoying. But uh, yeah, other than that. I think we're rocking and rolling right now. I think the little 450 horsepower in the uh, T2000 might have struggled a little bit. That sucker wasn't even able to do um, 115 empty. Unless it was going down a hill. Or was that 120 empty? It might have been 120 empty that it couldn't do. Either way, I was, I was disappointed in that T2000. Um, and the mirror, I was like, yeah, if I do an oversized load, I've got to have 
a good mirror. So um, both the mirrors were kind of honky. The, the, the in-cab left mirror had that pillar running through it, and the far side mirror that's up like I've got this one didn't give me a view of the trailer. So there you go. This is by far the superior rig at this point. I would I would heartily recommend if you are uh, in Euro Truck and you want to run some big heavy loads, you're gonna have to learn how to drive it because it is a bear to drive and does not turn for diddly. But this sucker, this this W900 with the big engine in it, ain't gonna get much better. Oh my goodness, I have a roundabout thing going on. Anyway, you you you. You're not going to get much better um, in terms of the the value for money because this is relatively cheap. This truck. Oh, this is going to be funny. All right, this is going to be interesting. All right, I just have to make it past this guardrail. Pull it. Pull it, big truck. You got it. Oh, crap. Ow. 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 Stop it. Um. Yeah, that light pole is going to be a problem here. I can already see that. Uh... First gear. This is gonna be. This is like one of those uh, freaking Scania truck challenges right now. Yeah, that's not gonna work. You guys are morons, and you're about to get what you deserve for being morons. And what we're going to try, some of you are going to groan at this, but. <laughs> we're going to cut to the inside of the light pole. It also lets these idiots get by me. Crap, how am I going to make this? Oh, I'm going to have to kind of... I want you all to die. Stupid, stupid four-wheelers. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not going to work so well. I'm going to run you over here in a minute, you moron. Okay, you idiots clear out. Well, actually, you know what? Him being there isn't such a bad thing. Oh, never mind. All right, you idiots clear out, all of you. Clear off. Clear off. Oh, my gosh. Where? Dude, you ran right into me. Why is it my fault for you being a moron? Ugh. I'm just scratching the crap out of my bumper, but... Hmm. Uh, gun it. No. That's not gonna work. <laughs> um... Hmm. See if we can do this. Yeah. 
So. Because I can clip of that. Just go. <laughs> All right, there's how you do that. All right, I've decided I hate those turns now. <laughs> wow. That's, uh, that's not fun. And all that, my guy's now tired. I'd be tired, too, after all that. Um, <laughs> how bad is the damage? Oh, only 1%. That's not too bad. All right. We're not going to make that exit. No, we don't want that exit. Okay. Wait, you want me to... No, no, no. That's a B road. All right. Get the map out. Time to check the map. All right. All right, that's a B road. That's going to be too... Yeah, that's... No, that's not going to happen, and that's not going to happen. Okay, so we're going to have to continue straight on this road, uh, which works out well because that's a rest stop there. That's an easy flow onto that. Yep, and then we're going to come down to that. Oh, we've got that. That's not going to work. All right. Oh, crap. Look at all these toll roads we have to go through. Bugger. Okay. That's going to suck right there, but there's not a heck of a lot I can do about it, I don't think. No, that one's going to be terrible, but I'm, I'm going to have to take that one. That's all straight. That's all straight. That's all... All straight. Um, hmm. If you're coming this way and you want to get on there, you're going to make that. And that's actually doable. That is probably doable. So I'm thinking, based on that, because that would be that. Okay. So you got to plan your routes when you got these loads on here. Um, if I'm going up. To get on there, how am I getting on? Oh, I've got to do that. Ooh, no, 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 no. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ruh-roh, Reggie. Uh, um, hmm. I could come into Hamburg, try to make that turn there, and go... No, that's not going to be good. So I'm going to have to do at least one more. Okay, so if I do just one more, or do we want to try this B road? That's going to, that's not going to work. I can't make that turn. No, I can't make that turn. There's no way. Okay, so let's keep going up here. Cut south. That's going to give us that roundabout. That's going to suck, but we can't do anything about it. And it's just one. No, it's not. It's two roundabouts. But that should be a wider roundabout. That's probably a double lane roundabout. I can deal with that. That's easy enough. That's easy enough. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so let's cut north. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just go north. Uh, plan your job. Plan your job. <laughs> How much time do we have to deliver this anyway? Uh, time remaining, 26 hours and 16 minutes to deliver. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's put the overdrive on the Kenworth and let's just wind her out. Pushing 97 kilometers an hour. And I'm taking up two lanes. 
Oh man, that is awesome. That is just, that is ridiculous. It looks like something you'd see in like, uh, heavy hauling Australia. <laughs> Though they wouldn't, they certainly wouldn't be bombing down the road like this. They'd also be able to like remove things that are obvious obstructions. Oh, thank you for moving over. I appreciate that, truck. I am much bigger and have all kinds of issues. They'd also go, you know, they wouldn't have like these kind of deadlines that I've got here. <clears throat> but we're going to try to get there with our heavy load, oversized load, seriously oversized load. Upshift, 17th gear. We still haven't hit 18th gear. We still haven't found a need for gear 18. <laughs> so this load is definitely heavy enough that um, the Kenworth, it does experience some degradation in its uh, strength. But that's good. Not enough, I don't think. I think it probably needs a little bit more. Yeah, I'm getting tired. Um, it probably needs to show a little bit more. And I know I'm blowing down holding over two lanes, but, um, yeah, I don't have a pilot car and these stupid AI cars are liable to merge into the side of my truck. It looks like we might be running up towards needing 18th gear. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to try to, to wheel in as much time as we can. I couldn't imagine having a wholesome big load like this um, without a pilot car, without the assistance of somebody else to uh, to kind of guide you, and and without like being able to plan it. We we obviously can't take these roundabouts that are pretty standard here. They would have done something about that in. If they were moving something like this, they would have done something to assist the, uh, ooh, that was an interesting leg spike there, um, to assist the, um, truckers, but we don't get that luxury, so you just got to roll on. Up here comes, I think this is our pull out. Yes, it is. Okay. All right, let's uh, see what we can do about uh, pulling in and getting some sleep. Might be an issue with this big trailer. I know I had the issue with the with the Ural and um, registering that I was fully fully in a position to sleep. But we'll find out what happens. Come on, register it. You're not Ooh. all right. This is what we're going to have to do. So. Going to go park this trailer. And go put it over on the side somewhere. I'm just gonna stick it over here somewhere, and then uh, then we can rest. At 
least on the bright side, this Kenworth makes sense hauling something like this. I think. All right, we need to first. Kind of park it over here on the side, like that. Oop, stalled it. Now I can put the <laughs> pull the truck over here. Yep. Yeah. So even something as simple as resting is not so simple. That come it. All right, come on, come on. There we go. Ah. Made it that far. Crap. Now we got a long way to go here. A short time to get there. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do about getting this trailer. Let's get in the cab. It's easier actually for me in the cab. All right, let's get our giant load. Of course, I had to take the giant load as far as possible, but he said it's the day after Thanksgiving. Hooked up. All right, let's swing it out. Oh, this is going to be much more difficult now because I can't see the trailer as well. That's going to be fun. Should be clear. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what. As much as I, even though I screwed up that roundabout, I'll tell you, the uh, the time with Scania truck driving simulator has helped because it helps me judge better how the trailer is going to act than I, I think I would have done if I had done this before playing a lot of Scania. I think I would have I would have misjudged the trailer even worse. Um, and really, honestly, I don't think there was a a way with this long of a cab I could have made that roundabout anyway. I think in that case, pulling with a um, in-game truck is better. But there you go. I'm not. <laughs> I'm ornery, and I want my Kenworth. Probably could have done with the K100, honestly, but. All right, we have a long way to go and a short time to get there. Let's put the hammer down. And uh, see if we can do this without completely destroying everything. We're actually going to be, we're going quite a ways out of the way, I think. Um, yeah, we're going to ball through here because the, that was the Hamburg thing I was thinking about swinging up by, but no reason to do that. So we're going to go through Hamburg, past Hamburg anyway. And then we'll... Check the map. All right, so they're routing us around Berlin. We were thinking about going south back down to Hanover. Let's check one more time. So we have that stupid roundy thing. And then no roundy thing. Cleanish. 
cleanish. This is probably the best bet. Yeah. Other than the stupid toll roads, which I'm going to have to figure out. And then this last bit is going to just, it's just going to suck. Actually, I think we'll skip that and we'll take this one because it looks like a wider road to get in. Yeah. All right. So we're going to follow the red line for now. We're hoping for double lanes through this roundabout. That would be perfection. And I think we might have gotten exactly what we needed. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go as far out as I dare. Leaving the wheels on the road this time, I'm hoping. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. That was like the a picture of perfection. Ha <laughs> ha. We did it. We did it. That was that was so awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's your rule right there is always plan to take the uh, motorways whenever possible when you're running a heavy load or an oversized load like this because if you try to take those B roads, I don't think I don't think you have clearance in a lot of them. I think you'd ground out in some areas and oh my goodness if you have to deal with switchbacks, those would just be murder. I don't think you'd be able to do it. I really don't. Especially not, I mean, maybe with a with a European style cab. Definitely not running this big cab like this. All right, there we go. Ah, uh, yes, we're on the road. Got the hammer down, pedal to the floor. Uh, we just need our dog on the seat next to us, our big sloppy basset hound. That would, that would make it perfect. Maybe some dude in a, in a Firebird Trans Am running interference for us. That would be that would make it even better. You know. He'd drive up to the speed cameras and spray paint over the speed speed camera so they couldn't do anything. Yeah. Make sure the cops were busy doing other things, not messing with me coming through with my my big oversized load. Without any beacons, mind you. So uh, probably uh, slightly illegal. Illegal. Now the other nice thing with the W900 over any most of those other mods that I've done, she's got a big old fuel tank on her. I mean, we'll probably be able to do this whole run on a single tank. You weren't going to do that on something like I was. I was considering. I was honestly considering the the Ural, but I was like, you know what? One, it's slow, but. More to the point, it's an absolute hog on gas, and I just wasn't gonna wasn't gonna deal well with that. I don't think. So we've had a few fines for traffic collisions. I don't think either of them were my fault, because the AI should have just backed off and let me deal with my trying to get my giant load around the corners on that stupid bus and then that stupid Cooper Mini. Go. Just lift off the throttle just slightly and this and I've learned that the W900 just kind of tucks right in there. All right. 
So how was everyone's Thanksgiving in the U.S.? If you weren't in the U.S., if you were in Canada, how was your Thanksgiving last month? <laughs> yeah, I know. Your Thanksgiving was last month. Uh, if you weren't in the U.S. or Canada, um, if you had Thanksgiving, how would your Thanksgiving have been? <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess if you're in the U.K., how was your Guy Fawkes Day? I know that was a few weeks ago, but nonetheless... Alright. So I'm pretty safe saying, is everybody ready for Christmas? <laughs> oh man. Alright. We're just gonna highball through here, rock and roll. I know it's nighttime. Nighttime isn't the best time to drive because you can't see everything because YouTube is that way. Um, but it is the best time to drive in the respect of it does slightly reduce the traffic, I think. I don't know. I think it does. Uh. Dude, what are you doing? Did you not see me coming? I was so afraid I was about to impact him. Oh, look at this fool. Look at this fool. Dude. Such a tool, man. Okay, 16th gear. Should we grab a gear? Should we just let that engine roar? Ah, let's grab a gear. Alright, we got 8 hours 13 minutes to destination. Biggest thing that we gotta face is toll roads. All right. Uh, Rostock. No, I need to be over here. All right, I need to watch myself on this corner here. So let's not fall in here too hard. Put that on. I'm going to go as far out of that dare. Oh yeah, that's working. That's working. Come on, baby. Pull it up that hill. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Yeah, buddy. We got it going now. <laughs> There's a speed camera. I'm going slow. <laughs> speed, I'm going slow. Uh, look at this guy. He's hauling a thing. Dude, you're not nearly as cool as I am. Uh, why is my truck going slower? Am I going up a hill? I can't see because it's dark. I think I'm going up a hill. Yeah, so I was watching a whole bunch of Heavy Hauler Australia. Well, and the owner is kind of a jerk. Um, but, man, some of the stuff they haul, like, man, SCS needs to look at making, like, a game out of heavy hauling. Like, with pilot cars and everything, where you have to plan your route and all that, that would be, like, that would be an epic game. I mean, some of the stuff they haul is just, like, oh, my goodness. It would, be a, it would be a tough game, though, I think. I mean, it would be tough to develop, I'll, I'll say that. From the standpoint of somebody who works in software, it would be very difficult to develop. Um, but I think it would be tough to play as well. Just because it would just, like... This is bad enough. 
with what I got back here. I say that, but I've been I've been doing pretty good. Um, but fingers crossed that we're gonna we're gonna make it through these last few areas. Crap. Okay, this is this. Okay, we can do this one. This one isn't gonna be too bad. All right, so we're heading towards Dresden. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We we should have room. Oh, good. It's even a double. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna take both lanes. Screw you, car. Stay back there where you belong. Taking both lanes. Got yeah, mine. I pay taxes on both of them. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ah <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. We done it. We done it, man. We done it. There ain't no sign of Buford T. Justice anywhere. I know it's Buford, but whatever. Buford makes makes me laugh. Buford. All right, car, you can pass me now if you want to try. Oh, you went over there. You're going to try to pass on that side. All right, well, whatever. Whatever tickles you there, car. Whatever tickles you. You're going to cut me off, aren't you? You're going to try to carve me up because you're a jerk. You're an idiot to cut me off like that and then slow down. 22 tons plus the weight of my trailer, which is probably a good, what, couple tons? Plus a truck. So what do you think? I mean, min bare minimum... 25 tons against your one ton car. I think you'd be a flat little pancake car when I'm done with you. Just saying. Boo. Alright. Rock and roll. I'm now, I'm now like waiting for some car to like carve up between me and the trailer and just like screw me up. Whoa, car. What was that? It was like supercar. Super. Crazy. Crazy drivers. I like this truck for this haul. And it does, I mean, it does honestly look right. That big, long body all in that trailer. Look at all those poor saps behind me. <laughs> Oh, man. Ooh, a little downhill. That gave us a little power boost right there. 113 kph. Jeez, 116. I'm not going to upshift. She seems to like being up in her upper rev range. I'll just let her eke out. Oh, crap. i got to make another exit. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Map. <laughs> At the last possible second. Map. Oh, we did make it around Berlin. Oh, wow. We're farther than I thought. All right. So we do have to make this exit. And then, okay. All right. Cool. How bad is this going to be? Oh, we're going to be fine. Oh, even. Whoa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Game trying to load after I come back from a map. All right. So let's slow this roll. All right, so I can now see my load back there a little bit better in the day. There we go. Oh, yeah. Picture perfect, beautiful right there. Let's run her back up. Oh, don't. Don't do it. Don't. You are a freaking fool. When you die and your children are crying at about your death, I am going to be pointing at them and saying, you better learn from your stupid parent who was moron enough to merge into the side of a tractor trailer. Jeez.
moral of that story, pay attention to what you're doing when you're driving. <laughs> oh, man. Heavy hauling. Teddy bear style. Oh, you stupid car. Whatever. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, look at those wheel marks. Oh, wait, no, those are wheel marks. I thought that was like where a truck went skittering off the side, but nope, it wasn't. It was the overhead power lines. We are mostly, I think, clear of that truck. Oh, we're definitely clear of him now. See, I'm not always just, like, flipping the truck into lanes. I do try to pay attention to the traffic, but... The, the AI drivers are just so horrible. Yeah, they're so bad that I just like, ugh, not even bother. All right. Here comes this buddy right here. Anybody behind him after that? No, I don't think so. Oh, please don't be a toll boat. Oh! Dude, dude, dude. You obviously have some sort of death wish. Ooh, ooh, I almost hit that green car, I think. All right, there we go. We've made it through the... Oh, come on. You hit him. It was so obvious. I saw it. Everybody saw that you hit him, but no, you don't get anything. this lane because I'm going to have to figure out how to get through this uh, toll booth. Hmm. Not really sure how this is going to work. I wonder how he's going to make it. Hmm. This ought to be interesting. So the only way that I know that this is going to work for me is going to be lining this trailer up. I want to see him first. Huh. Do we try it? Hmm. No. All right, let's go pay our bill. Okay. Okay, put the second reverse. trailer balls it come on go truck go 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 yeah ah made it oh man we only have how many more toll roads to do jeez Uh, that's fun. <laughs> 18 gears is a pain in the butt to do that. <laughs> uh, all right. Cool. Yeah, so, um, yeah, back to Thanksgiving. Uh, if you live in the U.S. and you had a good, and you did something cool for Thanksgiving, went somewhere cool or ate something cool like traducan or something like that, yeah, leave a comment. 
me know. Um, because I'm recording this in advance, I actually don't know what I've done for Thanksgiving. Uh, uh, how about that? Uh, yeah. How far in advance? Well in advance. Why? Because, well, I went to Brussels. So I don't even know how that went because, well, I'm recording this before I left for Brussels. Um, but I went to Brussels for work. I really want to eat Brussels sprouts while in Brussels to say that I have Brussels sprouts in Brussels. But I don't think that's a thing. I might try to make it a thing, but I don't, I don't think it is. We'll see. The things I do to occupy myself when traveling. So yeah, I'll probably, uh, if you haven't seen it, probably have a podcast uh, on that on Wednesday, right before Thanksgiving. Uh, I think I probably talked about it. I say I think I probably because, again, I haven't recorded it yet. I won't record it until I get back from Brussels, and I haven't left for Brussels yet. So I'm making assumptions about what I'm going to do in the future. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm like a Time Lord. But you didn't know that. Imagine me as a Time Lord. <laughs> the most derped up Doctor Who ever. Dare Tevers does Doctor Who. Alright. Should we shift? I don't know. She really loves these high rev ranges. Ah, we'll shift her. It's alright. We'll quiet her down a little bit. She pulls right back into it. Okay, well, that's fine. Alright, I'm taking this lane now. LKW truck. Coming through. See ya. Mm -hmm. I'm going to catch up to you guys. And you're going to drive slow. I hate you. Oh, I can see why, though. Oh, there's a toll booth up here. Alright, I need that car to go away. Okay, well, that's one way for you to go away. Yeah, slow down. That works. Alright, another toll booth. <sighs> the thing is, I have to make sure that I line this up so that truck that I know is back there doesn't bug me. Stop. Don't trust it. <laughs> Oop, not too far back. There we go. Attach. Go, baby, go. Put all that horsepower to work. Yeah. <laughs> you're a stupid mini. Get out of my way. Oh, you're not a mini. Well, whatever. Get out of my way, fool. Dude, what the heck was that? What is wrong with you? You deserve that. What the heck? A free and clear road in front of you. You're going to slam on your brakes like a crazy lunatic. Well, you deserve that smash. Ugh. Truck. Well, we got 4% damage to the thing. Okay, whatever. Ugh. See, that annoys me. Like, the AI had no reason to hit their brakes. It's like when they get in front of you and brake check you. It's like, really? Is that necessary? And apparently, they think it is. Alright, we are 2 hours 45 out. Probably gonna get a speeding fine. We are getting a speeding fine with a 22 ton load. That is awesome. <laughs> I love this truck. Oh man. Why'd you hit your brakes for? 
you know, you didn't really have to. You could have not let him in. That could have been a thing, you know. Oh, no, not another toll road. Oh, my gosh, I hate Poland. That's what I've decided. Dude, don't do that. You see the big truck coming from behind you? A smart man just keeps going. Line ourselves up and stop. Okay. And stop. Whoops. Uh, there. Attach that trailer. Third gear. Go! Charge through! Hey, I made it 30 kilometers an hour to make that through. You're going to be a dunce waffle, aren't you? You are. Ugh, I hate you. And then you're going to drive like a tool. What are you doing? Driving like a tool. Standard procedure. Tool driving. Okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. Hundred forty seven kilometers. Two hours twenty one minutes. I don't even wanna I don't even wanna try to check the map. We just know the first exit is the wrong exit. Let's just let's just focus on that. First exit is the wrong exit. We wanna hold off and get the second exit. I think the second exit might afford us a little bit more room to maneuver I hope but I still think if it's a if it's a roundabout type thing we are in so much trouble try it though there's no reason not to try it we've done really well so far yeah we got some damage to the truck yeah we got some damage to the rig the, the load but man it's an oversized load. It actually doesn't bug me too much. I, I expect it to be like freaking out more. But uh, yeah, I'm not. It, uh, other than getting in and out of cities, that I think is where it's really, really difficult. Out here on the motorway, it's cool. I'm I'm a lane in and of myself. Taking two lanes, I'm cool with that. So yeah, I'm cool with this. It's it's not been as bad as I thought it would be. I honestly expected much worse. Does not appear to be any traffic next to me. Push, push, push. We can pass this guy. Yeah. Low by him. Just driving along in the slow lane like a granny. <laughs> All right. I don't, I know that this particular oversized load mod was updated for the latest release of SCA, of uh, Eurotrux uh, 2. I don't know what exactly they updated, because obviously you still have the ability to phase the middle part of the trailer through things. But, um, yeah. 
go. I, I'm probably definitely going to keep this one. I'm going to try to get the stupid bus out of here so that I don't have buses on giant trailers. This derp waffle up here. Um, so I'm going to try to do that. Get that pulled out of there. Because it's obviously something else. It is not a bus. Because <laughs> that's silly. Dude, go! Go, dude! Come on, bus. Jeez, I'm gonna have to pass him on the inside, aren't I? Oh, there's another truck all in a bus. Cute. Cute. Um, let's see. Can I scare him and make him hit his brakes? I cannot scare him and make him hit his brakes. Man. That stinks. <laughs> Usually if you snuggle towards them, they get scared, they'll slam their brakes, and then, then I take advantage of that. But in this case, apparently that's not happening. Probably because of that void area in the truck in the trailer. Look at this. So we've gone this whole way. We've used half a tank of fuel. Is that not awesome? Ah, uh, so nice. Yes, I have two eco driving points, but I only have two eco driving points. It's not like I have maxed out eco driving or anything. This thing has a big. Tr this thing just has a big uh, fuel. Load. Oh, is this another? Ugh, another stupid toll road. Of course there's another stupid toll road. Alright. Gotta wait for all these people to like, get their vehicles through. And they have a speed camera there. I've been caught by that speed camera flying into this toll booth. <laughs> Uh. Come on, let's go. Ugh. Come on, come on, let's go. And release. Stop. All right, let's go. What? There. Lock up. Third gear and go. Yeah. 31 going through the toll gate. Oh, I love this truck. It's got the oomph. It's got the oomph, yeah. Big throaty monster. All right, we're getting there. All right, first turn is wrong. First exit is wrong, so we're going to wait to the second exit. I wish I could put, like, different pipes on this thing, like some big loud pipes or something. That'd be awesome. Yeah, and I go and sneeze. <sighs> Good thing I wasn't taking a turn, because that could have been catastrophic. All right, that is... That is going to suck. <laughs> oh, man. I think we're going to go to the outside view again and try to figure this out. Problem is all the traffic is going to try to exit with me. And it's going to jam up any chance I have trying to weasel this thing around. Oh, it's a descender on this one. All right. Don't you dare, you jerk waffle. All right, so what we're going to do... Okay, 
all the way up there like that. I'm just going to kind of let it slowly roll down here. Keeping it far over. If we bump a little bit on the front, that's actually fine. It's fine. That's what I have a bull bar for. Oh, wow. Oh, stop it. The bull bar. It's designed for this. Look at that. Look at, look at that. Uh, yeah, I know. I'm I'm bumping the bull bar, but it was a trailer I was worried about. I could give two rats about the truck. The truck is repairable. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and even made that turn. <laughs> yeah, buddy. We don't did it. Now comes the worst part of this. We got to get it through the city to the final destination. Oh, man. Without police escorts to shut off the morons on the road. So we would have come in on this little side road. Yeah, no. So I'm glad that we decided to <laughs> we glad I decided to take the second. I think that was a wise decision on my part. All right, you idiots get through the the light. Yeah, you better not give me a fine for that. It'll take like 3 Ooh. days for my trailer to get through, but Stop yawning, dude. That's just annoying. We're almost to the end. Just have to get through this traffic. Dude, you want to help me out and like block some traffic? That would be awesome. You're not going to be so cool as that, but I'm going to cut you off so that I can make this turn. All right. This turn... This turn is going to be interesting. I need all these morons to clean out before I do too much. So this might not be too bad. I might actually be able to do okay on this. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Woohoo! We did it! I'm gonna run in both lanes again. Nobody needs to pass me. Ah. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they changed for um, the latest patch. So, uh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what all has changed, but this is the oversized trailers pack. It has a bunch of oversized trailers. I'm liking it. I mean, it's it's a challenge. It's uh, it's certainly even more of a challenge when you're running uh, the big wide American rigs too. Should I try? You guys are like, yes, try. You know what? No, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Woohoo! Satisfactory. I don't care. I got it there. <laughs> wow. Not enough money. I should have gotten a lot more money for that. <laughs> 24 hours to drive that heavy load, that oversized load. Uh, and we did a good bit of damage to the rig. Mainly chassis and cabin damage. Yeah. Kind of expected that. All right, so there you go. This has been the oversized trailers mod. It has been mod it has been upgraded to this latest patch. It's definitely worth checking out if you want a serious challenge. I would recommend having a 
good burly truck for it. Uh, I happen to like the W900 for this. Uh, the K100 would work. Probably most of the in-game rigs would work as well. If you put realistic physics on, I have heard that is even more difficult. Um, but uh, realistic physics has other issues, so I'm, I have not run realistic physics yet. All right, so until next time, this has been Dare Tebbers with your Euro Truck Simulator 2 mod Spotlight. Spotlighted the oversized trailers mod. Uh, along with the Kenworth W900A day cab. I'll put both links down below. I've covered the W900 before. It's an awesome truck and I love it. All right. Till next time. Keep on trucking. <laughs>